He was born 2,000 years ago in an obscure village in very humble surroundings. He never went to college, wrote a book, or held high office. In fact, he never did any of the things we normally associate with fame and greatness. And yet, billions today identify themselves as his followers. While he was still young, he was turned over to his enemies and executed as a common criminal in the most shameful and barbaric way imaginable. Even as he was dying, his executioners gambled for the only property he owned, his clothes. His body was laid in a borrowed grave provided by a compassionate friend. But three days later, this man rose from the dead, providing living and tangible proof that he was, as he claimed, none other than the Son of God in human flesh. Since then, two millennia have come and gone, and yet this one man, Jesus Christ, remains the central figure of the human race and of history itself. On our calendars, his birth divides history into two eras. Our most important holidays celebrate his birth, death and resurrection. And the symbol most associated with his life and death, the cross, is recognised throughout the world. As someone once said, all the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the governments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned, have not changed the course of history as much as this one solitary life. So what do you make of Jesus? I wonder if you've ever fully investigated the facts about this unique and amazing man. I wonder what you make of his extraordinary life, a life that perfectly embodied his words and teaching. I wonder if you've seen the importance of his death, a death which he claimed was for people just like you and me, to bring us back into relationship with the God who created us and loves us. I wonder what you make of the evidence for his resurrection, what one historian called the best attested fact in history. Jesus made some astonishing claims for himself. He claimed to be the only way to know God. He claimed to be the only person who could help us make sense of our existence. He claimed to be the place where we can find a purpose that will fulfill us and a hope that exceeds our deepest longings and desires. On one occasion, Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. In other words, as we meet Jesus, as we encounter him, we begin to experience real life, life as it was meant to be lived. And I've discovered, like many others today and throughout history, that meeting the living Lord Jesus, knowing him and being known by him, makes all the difference in the world. You see, to ignore Jesus is to miss the very purpose for which we were made. But to know Jesus is life. Thank you.